Yo, listen, I come with another banger, another banging video, yeah? With Evo's second place, second seven player, Khan. But I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really been seeing the subscribers grow that much. I ain't seen people commenting that much. So I might just take a break soon. I want to start seeing the comments. I want to start seeing subscribers flowing through. So get behind this one because we have an amazing guest today telling us about Geese. Is he still top tier? Did the nerfs hurt him that bad? Watch the footage. Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy King J and today we have a special content for you. We have Evo, second place. Probably one of the best geese. I'll give you one of the best geese in the world. Khan, what's going on, man? Uh, bro, I'm good. Huh? What about you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I wanted to talk about the geese changes with you because a lot of people want to know is geese still viable in the nerfs that he has so we're going to talk through some of the stuff so i want to just talk through some of the moves but i want to ask you what do you think about geese so far uh right now after this patch i think geese uh, is not good uh, he, oh. geese is, is now in top 10 before he was uh, in top two like akuma and geese first and second now i think geese is in top 10 let me let me tell you why okay because now you you can play uh, with uh, decent players like the the opponent if your opponent know your frames he will respect you he know your gameplay okay uh, against uh, a messy player uh, you can pick geese now geese don't have tools like down for two side step three parry you know uh, oh. You can play with senior players. You can play with senior players like Geese versus uh, Arslan, Geese versus Muel, and people like that. You can play Geese, but not with average players. Ah, uh, so you do. So do you think against Geese against Mashimas is hard now? No, no. Um, against Mashima is good. Ah, uh, still. Yeah, because uh, Geese basics they didn't change his basics like one two down for one down three uh -huh. i don't know why they nerfed down uh, side step uh, side step three and down for two i don't know why <laughs> so you think stuff like this on hit so like yeah. just to keep them honest down yeah. for three yeah okay cool and neutral neutral four. Oh, so like ah yeah. okay 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 all right so let's go through some of the changes so obviously side step three on counter hit it does the toe grab now you're plus 17 but what can you do in this situation uh you th did you see it's far from uh you got far from your opponent after counter hit yeah. Just a three. yeah yeah we can we can use uh we can go uh further in to your opponent like we can we can do far far back three two far far down three one far far side step three again and uh -huh. we can do it if you know your opponent is going to press one or anything else, you can do neutral four or forward four or just straight, uh, straight back three two. Ah, uh, so like, and then go like so like, do this, dash up and then do it again. Yeah. Uh. Or dash up and go back back three two. Or if he's going to press, you can do four and neutral two and stuff. Mm. But before it was combo. I like the old one. So, all right. So, do you think that? So, we all know that this is a big change. But do you think that we is something we can work with right now, or do you think that it's pretty much unusable? No, no. The side step three is usable. Its main move of keys. Uh, you, you know, geese side step is super good. So you have to do side side down for one side back three side side three. Mm. side back dash you know you have to do stuff like that so side step three is good we have to use oh, okay. on counter it we can use and it, it gives you four plus on permanent. okay so what about like all right so let's move move on from that move so now he has down forward two because i'm just going to go through the biggest changes because i i feel like down side step three down forward two is definitely a big change because this hitting on normal hit even on counter hit so yeah. normal damage is 17, counter damage is 20. 
But this pushes them back and basically resets the neutral again. So it's like, do you feel like this move is usable now? Because before it used to give count hit launch, uh, count hit launch. Now it doesn't do anything other than the new uh, wall change, which is basically they just spring off the wall. <laughs> like. I think the downfall 2 is a huge nerf to Geese. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's usable because you have to uh, stop your opponent to taking side step. Uh, you have to use side downfall 2, it's safe. And before it was counted combo, now you oh, you only you can use it to stop your opponent to take side step. Uh, okay. After, uh, after uh, hitting, it's too far from you. You can do for forward four, and I don't know why they changed this move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was my favorite move. Neither do I. I I really like the counter here, but now can you see your can you see yourself using this move still with the changes or not really? Yeah. Still. I will use. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because it's safe. It's safe and uh, mid uh, mid homing move. So it stops your opponent to taking uh, random side steps and, you know. That's a good way of looking at it. I feel like some people might have looked at it as because it doesn't have the count hit launcher or the ballerina spin anymore, they might stop using it. But you're saying it's to stop people from sidestepping. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's a good way of looking at it. So what about like the mid parry? So obviously the mid parry now is only plus 14. Are you, are you going to use the mid parry still or not really? Uh, let me tell you uh, again. I I am telling you this. Uh, you did you saw my grandfather final with knee and my winner final or semi final with Ash? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I didn't parry uh, them both of them because they are doing uh, less attacks like one two one down for one back four only. So parry is okay. I'm okay with parry. If they nerf parry, I still go back three two, but. Uh, I have to guess correct if I if I want to use parry now because I only got one chance and I like that. Too far away one. I like that. You said I don't use parry. I, I still got back free too. <laughs> I like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, because uh, uh, against me parry didn't work. Against Arslan parry didn't work. Against high profile pro uh, players parry didn't work most of the time. So you have to do basics. Mm. So Geese is good in basics right now. Oh, uh, okay. So you don't... So generally, do you feel like parry... Right, forget about that match that you had with Ars Arsenal and Neeb. Like, like in general, do you feel like par mid parry is like... Is, do you think it's not good at high level? Or do, you, or do you feel like it's just good against certain players at high level? Yeah. Uh, it's not good at high level because mm. uh, high level player always wait for your parry. So mm. it's not good for high level players. You have to uh, kill them by basics, and because every time they they are waiting for your mistakes and they are reading your mind, so you can do parry. Oh. So parry is good. I I'm I'm happy they didn't change back three to stuff. <laughs> yes, yeah, same, same. All right, so what other... I feel like those are the only big changes he had. I can't remember anything else outside of the sidestep free. And back 1 plus 2 grab, less damage. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think that's a bad change. I feel like it, it does a lot of damage anyways because you get the, you get the ground grab as well. So, hold on. Let me, see, let me just demonstrate it to everyone here. So, basically... It's this. Stand up. So you basically get 60 damage. Anyways. Yeah. So Before it was 70, I think. Yeah, it, it's something silly like that. I think you get like, I think it was like 4 damage you get extra, but on Rage, it's, it's double. So it's like, it done a lot of damage. And to be fair, Geese, Geese doing this. You can do like, you can still do stuff like... So you could do all of those things if you if like if you was wanted to do that and kill and yeah there's a there's a bunch of things geese could do so i don't think that's a big change but i think that's all of these changes right yeah but but the most hurt changes is like downfall 2 i think ah uh, so you think downfall 2 is the worst one yeah downfall 2 is the worst one
Mm. So do you still feel like Geese is... So you think Geese is top 10? Yeah, Geese is top 10. Before it was uh, number 2 or maybe number 1. Uh, now he's, he's in top 10. Because see this, you need one chance. If you perfect... Uh, you need perfect your opponent, you can kill him in one chance. Mm. So do you feel like he needs to be more of a whiff punishing type of character in this game now? He has to play yeah. more Tekken. Yeah, yeah, now you have to play defensive with keys. Now you can't attack. You can't do uh, down for two. You have to wait, wait, wait and fill up bars and kill him one chance. Alright, sick. Well, I think that's it in terms of how geese is, man. I, I appreciate you for taking your time out and, you know, obviously doing this segment of the stream. You know, I, it means it means a lot because it's good to hear from other players what they think about their with their character with these new changes i think a lot of people are like on the fence about what what character to choose whether they should drop geese or not and you you're, you're basically gonna play him right yeah i'm going to play a, ge a geese with some players like i told you with high profile players i will pick geese because his basics are good like mm -hmm. down for one forward four one two one one down four is good down three and back three two of course and two four one geese have out of stuff so you're still gonna play him yeah i'm i'm still gonna play him i respect that man i respect that well thank you very much for your time man and um yeah i'll be looking out for your matches bro and i want to ask you one thing what about leroy we don't talk about leroy anymore <laughs> <laughs>